Yo, this is your boy Ringo back again with a new video. Ringo TV Raw, another day at the office. Today's topic is going to be a very controversial topic. I decided to pretty much tackle an issue that is affecting us as a people, as a nation. Uh, it pretty much is a serious problem and it needs to be addressed. The topic today is no woman should be in any leadership role, any authority type role where she is technically ruling over men. This video is a must listen. Why? Because it's the reason why many of our sisters today are very masculine. It's the reason today why women feel they could tell you brothers anything and get away with it. It's the reason why shit don't get done correctly. It's the reason why operations don't function properly. It's because when you put a woman to do something that a man's supposed to do, you're going to have problems. Now, be sure to click the unsubscribe button if you're a, a sister who is offended because after all, I don't really care how you feel about what I have to say. Because this is the reason why we as black people have so many problems. It's because our women want to have authority over us as men. They don't want us to assume the responsibility of leadership role. And they've allowed the white man to give them a pass by telling them, hey, you can be a boss. Hey, you can rule over these brothers. Hey, you can have leadership qualities. And you have the ability to order men around. So what we have today is a bunch of women who are CEOs, managers, supervisors, uh, you know, all these different positions. And what happens is when a woman takes that particular role and she is or has the power to tell you as a man what to do, that is when the ship sinks. Because women technically are not meant to guide, order, or rule over any man. This is why if you are a black man and you have a nine to five and you have women who are in positions that are over you or in authoritative type titles, that right there can cause conflict. Now, this is not a disrespect to anyone who have titles or certain positions in the workforce. This is a video that deals with life and real issues. And the issue is when a woman is in an authority type position, it will cause chaos. It will cause people to not do what they're supposed to do. It will cause a woman to feel she is on top of the world and she could be as, uh, you know, crazy, disrespectful, rude, because she figure, I'm in a position of power. And when you put a woman in a position of power, nothing is done correctly. Companies don't even run properly when women are in those titles. And like I said, you could get offended. You could get mad, but this is Ringo TV Raw. This is my channel, which means I say what I want to say. If you don't want to hear what I have to say, and you're the type of person who has thin skin, why the fuck are you on my channel listening? This channel is not for you. This channel is for real people, real adults who understand real issues. And one of the issues we have in this culture is women who want to be men, who want to rule over men. It's bad enough we have this, uh, I'm, an, a, in, I'm an independent black woman type spirit. It's bad enough we have that. But now we brothers, we have to deal with women who want to have power over us. And there is nothing worse than seeing a woman in a particular position where she has the ability to order you around as a man. That should make that woman feel good. She walks away feeling like, yeah, I told that motherfucker what to do. And what happens is, this is what happens. Abuse 
occurs. So we're not talking about this issue as if though I don't feel a woman should have any sort of success or that she shouldn't be a CEO or she shouldn't be in a position of power. If anything, a woman should be in a position of power over other women, not over no man. I think that as a company, a business, or whatever the case is, in my humble opinion, the way it should be is that there should be double supervisors, double bosses, double managers. And what be done? You have a woman who her job is to supervise women. You have a man whose job is to supervise men. Because men understand men. Men know how to talk logically. Men know how to use proper judgment when distributing different tasks and different ideas. They know how to speak to men individually, properly, without offending men. But women, they tend to think emotionally. They speak from their emotions. They don't think logically like men. So when you have a woman in a position of power and she have the authority to tell you what to do, that woman will speak to you as a man in a manner as if though you are a woman. And she will treat you as if though you are a woman. She won't treat you like you are a man. So therefore, anytime she engage in speaking to you, you as a man will not be happy with her tone, with the way she came at you, with anything. Because women are not supposed to be telling no man what he should be doing. And that's a fact. All throughout the Bible, you don't see no woman ruling over no man. You don't see no woman ordering no man. Telling no man what he's supposed to do, nothing. Because you're not her child. Do you understand? You're a man. And I truly believe that this culture has totally destroyed us as a people. Because instead of women understanding their role and their place, they have been elevated to a position where they can be the CEO of a company and tell you what you need to do. And what happens is, like I tell you before, women don't know how to do things like men. Therefore, if a woman is in charge, shit not going to get done right. Real talk. When a woman is in charge, shit don't get done right. It don't get done right. You can argue, you can cry, you can say whatever, whatever you like. But at the end of the day, wherever you find women in positions of authority, nothing get done right. Why? Because women are not supposed to be in positions of power. Only men should be in those titles and those positions. It's like having a female president. This whole nation will fall. Why? Because when you have a woman telling grown men what they should and shouldn't be doing, that right there is a problem. Because women don't know how to talk properly to a man. Not saying that women don't know how to speak or that they don't know how to talk, but women can relate with women not men. A woman cannot understand men in, the, in, the, in terms of how to talk to them with the ability to give orders or to control or to manage or to supervise. Women don't have that ability. When a woman try to talk to a man in any fashion, she is going to only cause offenses. And this is why when you go to any business, any company, wherever there is a woman, she's in charge I guarantee you, if you ask all the men what do you think about this particular person are you happy with the way they talk to you they'll say no I don't like it I really don't like it and when you have the majority of people not liking how you talk to them that is when you know you have a problem but if you think that you don't have a problem when the majority believe you do you're in denial and this is something that needs to be discussed because what we have is a lot of women who want to assume the responsibility and control, even down to the apartments and the houses. You have so many women who they're the main breadwinner. So what's happening here? They're ruling over their man. Their man 
is not doing as well as they are. So the woman is bringing home the bacon. And because she's doing it, she feel she could tell the man whatever he want. She tell her man when he could go outside, when he could hang out, and when he got to be back home. Imagine that. You're a grown-ass man, and your woman is telling you when you could go outside, when you could come home, and who you could be friends with. You're a bitch. You, as a brother, is a bitch-ass Negro to have a woman tell you what you can and can't do. That's a damn shame. But that's what's happening. And I know a lot of you sisters, you get offended very fast. But if you look at this thing logically, it'll explain to you why you don't have a husband. It'll explain to you why you don't have a man. Because no man want a woman who thinks she have authority over him. I cannot deal with a woman who thinks she's a boss. I can't deal with that. Because see, when a woman goes to work and she have a bossy way about herself, she like to control and boss people and tell people this and tell people that, and she get a kick out of it, that right there will travel with her home. And if she's in a relationship, she will tend to use those very same bossy tactics to try to control whoever she's with. And a man can pick up on it. A man can pick up on a bossy woman. And he's not going to tolerate that. He's just going to leave because he don't really got no time to be dealing with that type of foolishness. But it is what it is. That's what's going on today. And I know a lot of women, you know, they don't like to hear stuff like this because they want to control and they don't want no one speaking about it because it's a big secret amongst women. Women for a long time have been plotting and planning to gain positions in life, to gain certain titles, to gain certain roles so that they can have power and position over men. And I notice that in many companies and many job places, women tend to have those particular titles where they're controlling how things get done. And what happens when you look at a company that is being ran by women, you're not going to see no work get done because women don't know how to do these things. And I know many of you sisters, you're offended. But if you are offended, it's because what I said applies to you. Because if you're doing such an excellent job and everyone loves you and all the men are excited about your performance as a leader, then guess what? You won't have a problem. But if you have a problem with my video and you have a problem with my words, it's because you basically fit the profile of a woman who don't belong in that position. Women belong in secretarial positions. Positions where they're serving, serving, not ordering. Assistant, not ordering. Do you understand? You see, you can be an assistant, but you shouldn't be the one who is doing the main ordering. In other words, if I'm the boss and I make you an assistant, that means that you are following my orders and you're distributing in that down to others but when you have the power to tell others what they can and can't do in terms of ordering men around because i don't have a problem with women being over women just like i said in the beginning i don't have a problem with women being in positions of authority where they have to manage and supervise and order and, and uh, control situations where women are involved. Because in those scenarios, women know how to talk to women. Women can relate to women. They understand each other's languages. They understand how to talk to each other. But when you have women who are in positions of authority and they're talking to men, you're going to have a problem. You're going to have all kinds of problems. We see this every day. You ask nine out of ten people, wherever do you work, if there's any woman in a position where she have a title over you that says she can control and tell you what to do, you're going to have problems. That doesn't mean the person who's telling you what to do is a bad person, even though some of them are. But the point that I'm making is when women are in these titles, they lose their femininity. They become masculine because they're in a position where a man belongs. You see, when a woman has to have authority over men, she has to begin to think like a man. She has to begin to do things like a man. 
So you have to begin to be rough like a man, talk like a man, act like a man. So she's going to be very masculine. She's going to be very brute, very brittled. Uh, it's going to be very harsh. And she's not going to do things correctly. It's going to only cause problems. And this is why a lot of companies fail. This is why nations are falling. This is why families are not um, prospering. It's because women want to assume the role of being the authority. And that's not the way it's supposed to be. A man is the head of the woman, which means no woman should be the head of any company. No woman should be in any headship role over any man whatsoever. I believe that sooner or later in this nation, there should be supervisors that supervise women and supervisors that supervise men. But when you place a woman in any position where she has to deal with both men and women, that is when you have a false balance and you're going to have issues and problems because no woman should be over any man in any area or any field in life. And that's real talk. You could take that shit to the bank. That's real talk. Now, like I said, a lot of you sisters who may have titles where you're the executive of this firm and you're the top person in this place or you're the manager at this place or you're the supervision of this place or this and that and you're the somewhat of a boss and this video bothers you. It's because you don't do what you need to do to make things work the way they need to work. Because you know deep down inside of what I'm saying is the truth. No woman should be over any man. If no woman is supposed to be over a man in a marriage, then what makes you think a woman is supposed to be over a man in the business world? Think about that. Think about this. Your wife know that you're the head and she knows that and respect you. But when she goes to work, she's the manager over a particular company. Managing over men, ordering men and talking to men and telling them this and dictating that. That's a false balance because at home she respects you, follow your orders, but when she's at work, she's ordering men. That's a false balance. Do you understand my point? So a woman is not supposed to be in none of those positions. They're supposed to be in positions where they serve the company, serve the men, serve. There should always be a servant type spirit in a woman. That keeps them feminine. That keep them in a position of nurturing. That keeps them in a position of caring for not trying to control and dominate. So I hope that this video pretty much educated and built up the people to understand this is very important. So if that, with that being said, begin to take the time to understand what I'm saying. View the video over and over and consider the information. When a woman is in a leadership role, nothing get done correctly. And I'm speaking in terms of a woman leading men. No woman should be leading men, none. Just like women are not even supposed to be raising sons. It takes a man to raise a son. It takes a man to guide a boy. Women can raise girls. Women are not supposed to be raising boys. Father's supposed to do that. You raise a boy as a woman, he's going to be effeminate. Either that or he needs some uncles or cousins or something who are males to pretty much guide him and take them under his, his wing. Because if not, it's going to be a problem. Real talk. So with that being said, um, thanks for viewing the video. Make sure you consider this video. This is a very, very controversial video. Very, very controversial. Because what happens is people get offended very fast. Because, like I said, when you touch on a topic that is very, very touchy for a lot of women. Because women want control. I don't care how you brothers feel about it. You need to wake up to this. Women want to control you. They get kicks out of controlling you. They get kicks out of telling you what to do. They get kicks out of this shit. That's why, as black men, you need to be doing things so that you can move into different areas in life where no woman have no say or control over telling you anything. Because at the end of the day, I personally don't like no woman telling me what to do. None. But in this culture, you have to deal with that type of shit. At the end of the day, you got to deal with it. You got to deal with it at schools. You got to deal with it at work. You got to deal with it when you go to different places. You got certain women who think because of their title, they have the right to order and control you. And it's not supposed to be like that. A woman is supposed to be in a servant spirit, a servant title, where she serves you as a man. 
that will keep that woman humble. It'll keep her feminine. But in today's day, these women are so fucking masculine. It's unbelievable. They act and talk and even start to look like men because they're trying to do things like men. And it's a very, very serious problem. If you sisters really pay attention to what I'm saying, you'll notice you're acting like a man a lot. You're talking like a man a lot. You're thinking like a man a lot. And it's sad because a lot of you sisters, you've lost your feminine nature. This is why I don't believe no woman should be working at a nine to five. I really just don't believe that women should be working in a nine to five. That is a job that is basically for men. But we live in a culture that want everybody to be equal, want everything equal opportunity, equal this, equal that. You could call it sexism. You could call it whatever the fuck you want. But at the end of the day. When you put women in any position, whether it's a leadership position, authority position, supervisor position, manager position, CEO position, or just put them in a job that was meant for a man, you're going to have problems. That's like you hire a female firefighter, a female cop. Are you serious? You're going to put that woman on the streets to deal with thugs and goons, 250 pound brothers. What is she going to do? Arrest him? Really? He's going to knock her ass out. You're going to put a woman to be a female firefighter? So she's going to carry 50 pounds up the stairs? 60 pounds worth of gear? Please. What, female construction worker? Are you kidding me? She's wearing combat boots and a hard hat? A woman? No, a woman don't belong in no fucking combat boots. No Tims with no fucking hard hat on. A woman's supposed to be feminine, not looking like a man. But this is the culture we live in. This is the fucking culture we live in, where women want to be men. Women want jobs that men are supposed to do. Men are supposed to be the ones who do strenuous work. Because we have the muscles, we have the fucking strength to do this. Women are not supposed to be doing that. Women are not supposed to be no fucking welders, builders, and building houses and on the construction site. You don't even know if that's a woman or a man standing over there because she's wearing a hard hat and boots. Real talk, you know? No woman should be in any of these positions. No woman should be doing work that was meant for a man. No woman should be doing work that is for a man. And that is why this video is about no woman should be doing anything that is a leadership title that is over men. Like I said, I don't have a problem with a woman being a CEO. I don't have a problem with a woman being a manager. I don't have a problem with a woman being a supervisor. But if you're going to do that, supervise women. Run a company where you're over women. Run a company where your entire staff is women. And I can respect that. But I cannot respect women who want to rule over men. Because that goes against the Bible. That goes against the truth. And that causes a false balance, which is an abomination. Because once you put women over men, you're going to have problems. Because no man want to be told what to do by a woman. I don't care who you is. I'd rather deal with CEOs, male supervisors, men, because men can understand where a man is coming from. When you as a brother try to talk to a woman about a particular situation, she don't understand you, man. She'll look at you like you're crazy, like you don't know what you're talking about. And that's real fucking talk right there. But when you could talk to a dude, he could sit down and think logically and say, you know what, bro? I understand where you're coming from. You know what? Thanks for letting me know the situation. I understand the situation. And now things can be run smooth because you know the man understand you because he's thinking logically. A woman think emotionally. So when you talk to her about your issues, she's not going to understand you. If you're a, a, a particular person who work for the government and you have a woman who is over you, That's going to be a terrible situation because she's going to be leading by emotion. She's not going to be leading logically. So if a woman get elected as president, this nation falls. I'm telling you that right now. Telling you. A woman elected as president, this nation falls. Because everything is going to be done based on emotion and feelings. Nothing is going to be done logically. Even if they have advisors and people who are in their ears to tell them what to do it's not going to be done properly because when a woman is in charge she's going to use her emotions and she's going to just do things and this is going to be you know irrational and her judgment is going to be poor and that's real talk and that's not a disrespect to women because women can be wise 
but no woman is wiser than a man. And if you think you're wiser than a man as a woman, you're challenging the authority of a man. And that's not cool. So with that said, leave your comments, your feedback, your hate mail. It's your boy Ringo, Ringo TV Raw. We out. Peace.